And you're very welcome back to the Lads Podcast. I'm Dara. Is he serious? I'm no Dara. Way. No way am no, I going we're doing, to that. We're doing a soft podcast this week, Steve. <laughs> we are, yeah. Welcome to the no. Steve and Dara podcast. How are you all this week? I'm I brilliant. How are you? Sorry to keep it down, please. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> sorry, we just have neighbors, so we, we, yeah. well, I try my soft one, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're very welcome back to the... Uh, Steve and Dara podcast. Oh, Steve and Dara. Steve goes first. Yeah, he fucking does, actually. thought it was the lads podcast. No, it's the fucking Steve and Dara experience. Oh, is that a Steve? Actually, that's not too bad. It's the Steve and Dara experience. The Steve and Dara. But you have to say my name slightly louder. Steve Steve and Dara Dara experience, you know? Yes, yes. What's the crack, boy? How are you? Boy, how are you getting on? I kind of like that. (laughs) What? Something different. (laughs) That little bit we did there. Okay. How are you? I'm all right now. How are you? Yeah, uh, Grant, now. How was uh, your week, Dara? My week, Steve, was good. Fucking up the walls. Yeah. Um, we, me and Steve, were part of a music video we for were. the the late, not late and great, he's still alive, uh, <laughs> Colin Andrew. Uh, look him up, stream his new tune, Loving You in Vain. Loving um, You in Vain, yeah. So he's excellent. I, I shot the music video, uh, Steve's in it. Mm. He's playing a very significant role. I wonder what the role is. God, you'll have to follow... Colin Andrew Music on social media and you'll find out then. That's right. You'll have to stream him on Spotify to listen to it, follow him on social media and then the video will come out and then you'll see it. And, and Colin, for this, for this plug now, this will be another uh, 300 euro. Yeah, Colin, sorry. There's just loads of plugging for Colin because uh, we had some great time actually. We did, we had a great time. Fairness, like, uh, and then I went from that to just my regular job. So, uh, we're still talking about Colin. But oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> forgot this is Colin Andrew and Barry, And Barry, the guy who produces awesome. music who's a long-time friend of mine as well. So it was a nice, we had a very nice weekend actually. We had a belter of a weekend. Really, really good weekend. We worked hard. It was hard work, but it was it was fun. It was nice and it was productive. Uh, it was brilliant. great. Great company. Yeah, and best no, friends. Best great friends. Great food. Best friends. Good hash. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm only joking. Go on anyway. Uh, how is how is the rest of your week, boy? I haven't seen. Oh, you since fuck then. it! Like, the weekend was good, so I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Well, Monday was a bank holiday, so we had a, we had Monday off. We did. And um, no, I didn't do anything significant. Went back to work. Work was all right. More back house work. Loads of back house work. Do you know what? I was thinking about this because every week we're going on about the the back, <laughs> the back house being developed and turned into a back house. Yeah. And back home, the back house will become the back home. Now, nah, back house rings better. But um, we, we could technically do the podcast there next week if we want. No, it's the, sealed the sound off. Weather wise, sound to be crap. The sound here is really good. Sh- yeah. Um, but what we should, what we might do on our Instagram this week, we might actually give you a little tour and a little update on building it. Actually, yeah, it's really starting to move along now. Brilliant. These things just happen all of a sudden, but yeah, it's a lot, lot done now. How, how, hope, what, hope. what time frame do you think? Oh, I until don't know. I'd, love, I'd love to say by October I'll be in, but I don't know. Cool. Another few weeks anyway. Oh yeah, but two months anyway, I'd say. Brilliant. And uh, Steve, what are we discussing today in this week's podcast? Today we're discussing uh, social media and mental health, yeah. Bringing in, yeah, we're going to bring in a bit of mental health about it. Look, we were going to get serious eventually, lads, right? Yeah, very we're, serious men. Serious stuff, yeah. guys. It's not all crack, lads. The it's can't, all, the can't it's always like just be crack. can't always just be fun. You even, can't just be having fun. Even like. though you're coming to this podcast for a bit of fun. Yeah. Sorry. Even fun. if you want to escape. Even the fun isn't fun even anymore. Even if you want to escape from the, the, the stress of life, we have to remind you about the stress of life. Yeah, it is stressful. And your stressful. daily fucking scrolling. We said mental health as well because I think that's really good. It's just around it. It's, yeah, around it's it because... It's talk about social media no, without it No, because what you now, do, that's it? like talking about air. <laughs> <laughs> guys, today's the air podcast. Whereas We're talking about air and mental health. Yeah, if you did air and mental health, yeah, then... So yeah, how air affects mental health. It makes yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah, bang on. So how's your air? My air is fine. It really gets me doing, <laughs> you know, stuffy air, oh, clean stuffy air, clean air. Oh, I love the clean air. Ah, oh, salty air though. Oh, salty air in my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, duck do air? No. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I needed to get it in. There has to be one duck do joke every year. Have you seen the duck do sketch? Your man's I'm obsessed. irrelevant. Your man's obsessed with his duck do fucking sketch. Why did I give you that joke? <laughs> Oh, well, I wrote the sketch. <laughs> you no. were part of the process. I fucking crafted it. All right, bye. You merely just shaped my <laughs> idea into something. So, okay. Right, go on. How, let's kick things off. The lads too is three years old today. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, it is. For context. Another one. Remember the for, lads too. Go for on. context, the lads too is a series... No, it's not. It's an series. episode. Shut up. The Lads 2 is the second episode of the Lad series, which are there are six episodes. They it's are a, it's shitty entire... sketch comedies that the second one did very well because yeah. we were shared by Blind Boy mm. and Humans the Sesh. And the reason I, we exist online is probably thanks yeah, to the Lads 2. That was I don't a know, really early a few sketch. Videos. It's what made us keep going, I think. 
I think so. That's when we decided, hey, we should do sketches together as pals. Yeah, well, more, we, we had done, we, we did the first one and we did a few at the start, didn't we? But uh, th- that was the one that kind of really That was the it. one that did well and we were like, one, I'm fucking... And here we are now. doing a fucking here podcast. A fucking podcast in our mid-twenties. Um, yeah, nearly... I saw that during the week. I got a reminder that it was three years old and I went, Jesus, three years. Amazing. And I watched it and I was like, yeah, it is a good sketch. In and uh, that was released on social media. It on was released Facebook. on Facebook. Facebook. Why would you release anything on fucking Facebook? Now? It's so funny. Go on, this will be our segue Do Foil Arms and Hogs still release on Facebook? They I wonder release they... everywhere. Yeah. They release on TikTok. Uh, as in, any good content creator yes. will release everywhere. And they're very well-known Actually, content cre- creators. On that see. point, I think as we move into the actual mm. meat and potato of the podcast, not this bollock intro shite. This is Grant. Shut up. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anyway, um, I think it's good that we're... We kind of both come from different perspectives of social media. Me being a content creator... And you being just fucking some dope. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually like, what's he going to say? Me being, uh, I thought you were going to like pussyfoot around and say, oh, like um, the guy who was kind of keeping up today. I'm, well, la- I'm glad that you said yes, some dope. You are. I'm actually happy about that. That's all you are. I fucking, you know what? That's all you are. I, I embrace it. Big yes. fucking Egypt. Big fucking but social it, media. It, the way we, but it, in seriousness, it's the way we both approach social media w- sure. much different ways. So, um, yes, very different. We What we did as well this week, guys, and we'll come about to it at some stage in the podcast, we reached out to our audience and asked, what? are your opinions on the pros and cons of social media. So we'll cover it ourselves and we'll bring in your contribution at some stage. So, Yeah, yeah. we'll get to that later. But before we do that, can I just call out um, our patron this week? We have another... Another week, I another know, patron. Like, that's mm. been a few weeks in a row of getting a new patron. Uh, Adele, thanks Adele for Thank you, subscribing. Adele. Uh, Adele, thanks. We'll, um, we'll send you we'll a letter. We'll send you that letter. We'll write to you on Patreon. Uh, this week, this weekend, and also I need to write to Ben and Nusha, the previous two weeks ones. I still haven't wrote to you. Very sorry. Uh, and if but you thanks wanna, for, for subscribing to us. And if you want to support what we do, patreon.com forward slash the lads podcast. Um, look, two euro a month, five euro a month. 50 euro a, a week. week. You know, it's lads. <laughs> whatever, whatever suits you. What else are you going to do? If we have any really rich listeners, you know. <laughs> you never know. Support your local yeah. no, of course. men in their mid 20s doing a podcast. Thank you very much. Exactly, yeah. Right. No, if, if you have the spare coins, you know, if, if up to you, whatever you want. Or yeah. else just fucking share, share the shit out of this or tell yeah. your friends. You know yourself. Tis free. Yeah. Because it's starting to go down now, lads. We need, we need to get. Yeah, it to yeah, up, it's it's I mean? it's getting dangerously low, dangerously low. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if anyone will even listen to this. Two listeners a week, like you know. Jeez, this could be one. It could we might be, have yeah. one listener to this. Yeah, me and whoever you. are not even listening. Anymore. <laughs> I don't even. Well, I've edited. Can I? Uh, can I actually throw you an old question? So just to, just to get us spike. into it. When did you first join social media? Tell us about your first experience. We'll just talk about this quickly. Ooh, okay. Just take um, us back to the past. I mean, technically Bebo. Yeah, yeah, but not even technically. Okay, yeah, yeah, on, yeah, Bebo. Uh, I would have joined Bebo in 2007, 2008. Yeah. I barely used it. I yeah, had no yeah. fucking friends. What What did um, you... Yeah, okay, I had no friends. So what did you... It was a weird period because I joined it after I left primary school and mm. not everyone in primary school was on it so we weren't adding each other and then I went into secondary school and I had no fucking friends in secondary school at the okay. start so I well I added the guys in my year but I didn't know them so it wasn't I know I didn't get anything out of people Interesting, yeah. Did but you... I joined Facebook in 09 I joined Twitter in 09 and Instagram whenever it came out so yeah. Did you feel just to go back to that so did you feel the kind of you definitely probably felt the negative parts of social media back then because you felt a bit lonely and uh not isolated to the extent, maybe Do you know what I mean you felt like Not to the extent that you feel bad of modern day social media that was just a case of I had no fucking friends because, Well I was the same as you, you see I like I was similar in first year of school which is when I joined people in a desperate attempt to try and be like I had some kind of friends in, I had yeah. acquaintances who were nice to me but I had some people me? who were just I well, nice yeah, but we, we we didn't. Yeah, we were, but we were separate. We were friends anyway. I was. But I mean, in, that was nice and I didn't to see you. That was you the that joke. <laughs> Went right over your head. <laughs> He's fucking hilarious. <laughs> but um, yeah, because when I was in first year, I was um, bit of a, I had a bit of a tough time in the transit. Like you, you and me both did. Like we won't get into this mad, but we had a bit of a tough time mm. transition from primary to secondary school. Like really cool. small, tight. What's friend, your favorite friendly, app? <laughs> friendly <laughs> primary school. <laughs> To secondary, so like I was on Bebo and I felt that kind of loneliness because I felt like because it's so fucking public, there was no DMs, everyone sh- wrote on their wall and shared their love. Yeah, and and you'd see how much love, how fuck all love I had were compared to all everyone oh, else. Same. Like, yeah, remember that? It was like a yeah. really, really, I think Bebo was such a toxic social media platform. Yeah. Or maybe, like, look, maybe it's just the way we all used it because we were young, but it definitely was. 
But so it, that that it, was your first experience and my first experience, I suppose. Yeah, sure. Mm. We were on forums when we were younger. Oh, well, um, we were, for yeah. For the Lego suppose, videos we made. I forgot that social media. That was a good in experience a sense, of it, though. That was really that was positive. Excellent. Really healthy experience, I, I, from 100%. what I remember. So when, just for quick context, we won't... That, that'll be a fucking podcast in itself. Mm. Me and Steve were brick filmers. We made stop motion animation with Lego. Steve only did it for about a year or so. I, I did, did it for, it for two years. And I went back to it the odd time. Yeah, I know. It was about two years. When, Six how, last to the how second. How long did I do it then? To the second. Year. It stopped when I was kind of 16, so... Yeah, you see, you did it a while. Three, Basically, yeah, stop motion, motion animation. Like, there was this excellent community online, brickfilms.com. And then bricksandmotion.com. Oh, yeah, there was a coup. And <laughs> <laughs> there literally was. There was literally... There was politics on this site, lads. Like, we were just little 13 year olds be like, <laughs> okay, yeah, what? This is, it was all ages. It was brilliant. Um, the only thing, though, about that is I got so addicted to that. That was my first... First social media, but also my first time getting addicted to like online stuff. Interesting. Before that, I I'd be on YouTube the odd time, but I wasn't like addicted. But I actually yeah. I got addicted to that site definitely. A forum. I did. I got so Guys. so into it. It's very cool that we we again being millennials we. Were I suppose kind of forums of were a thing since the early nineties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. They were they were the social media. Well, yeah, that 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 exactly that you, thing. Brickfilms.com <clears throat> came out in like ninety nine. But you picked, yeah, Jesus. You but know? you you picked your niche and you went to a forum and that's you found all people like you and that was and that was our niche and that was our thing. So and then it was when Facebook came along. Facebook groups. If Facebook, yeah, that's what's kind of replaced forums yeah. nowadays. But. I think Facebook came along in kind of 09 and we all jumped on it. It was so big and exciting because you see, was. a forum was very specific, but this was just everything. And hey, anyone you know, you can see them. Wow. Even the layout of Facebook was much more sophisticated, wasn't it? Like Bebo was clearly like slapped together and it was so, <laughs> yeah, Facebook was a nice breath of fresh air. And now it's funny. Now it's like, oh, fucking Facebook. It's funny. How Christ, <laughs> you know, genuinely, it's like they yeah. always just age, don't they? Now I'm like, ah, I like a bit of Instagram. Yeah. I deleted Twitter during the week. I was just about to probe you on that, so mm. let, let's let dig a bit into that. So okay. This is an interesting one. So we're talking about social media, mental health. Mm. You deleted Twitter, right? <laughs> I want to... Genuinely, you deleted it yesterday or the day before. Uh, I think two Sweet. days ago, yeah. I, de- yeah. I actually deactivated my account, not just the app. I yeah, just you, you, didn't, you, didn't, you could have just deleted the app, uninstalled mm. it, and then yeah. same difference, but you removed your account. Yeah. Why? Talk to us about that, Steve. What's the crack? What's Literally, the mo- the just because I'm just so addicted. I'm just scrolling. It's so well. I'm not so addicted. I have somewhat. I keep all my social media somewhat in check in the last year or two. Okay. Since I started looking at my phone screen time, but like, I just felt like right. I have three. I have Facebook, Instagram, and um, fucking Twitter. Twitter. And Twitter, I always I used to get a lot out of. I used to think, oh, there's a load of fun here. There's a load of this and yeah, yeah. load of load of mad stuff. And and it's also nice to be in the loop. But then I I genuinely just I started seeing the negatives more than the positive. And I know you can filter, you can um, tailor your who you follow and who you mute, and you can make it your echo chamber, so you can make it. Sure, sure, yeah. As fun as you want it. But I don't know, I just started um, I started doing that and I just found myself constantly doing it. I was constantly, okay, I don't want to see tweets from this person because it's just negative. Yeah. It's just this and that. And I was like, oh God, it's just like... And then I thought, look, it's... Another thing as well, I was like, yeah, I have to let people be negative too. You know, it's like, it's it's a vent for some people. But I'm not talking about just toxic stuff. Unfollowing and muting people is still letting them. You just don't have to see it. Exactly, yeah. But literally, it just got to the face that I was doing that so often that I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get rid of it. Because... Interesting. And ma- But the main, like, if I was still getting a lot of fun stuff out of it, I'd been grand. But I just kind of went, Eric, mm. you know what, like... I'm not as much anymore. It's just more scrolling and I'm not really... Yeah. Okay. So I just said, go on, I'm just going to get rid of it and I just wanna, stay to my Facebook group. So that, ta- that's where I get my fun, my humour now. That's Facebook fair groups. enough. No, and they're completely valid reasons and like I'd never be... I can't condone it because you well, see... Well, you're in a way different boat. Because if everyone was to leave social media, then no one would watch what? my shit. Or, <laughs> well, well it also, I'm in that too because uh, who'd listen to this podcast then? Who would know about it? Yeah, like, but... Unless we start up a web zone. We, we already have a web zone. It's <laughs> patreon.com forward slash the lads podcast. Anyway, cool. to your month. I've, I've always been an advocate for tailoring feeds because there's this opinion going around, right? You know, it's like, listen to other people's views. Don't live in an echo chamber. Da, 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 da. You can't yeah. censor people, right? Look, their opinions. But at the end of the day, your social media experience is yours. That's something you are seeing for hours every single day. Sure. If you're seeing shit every day that upsets you, annoys you, makes you feel any way is bad, why should you? So a few years back, my mental health wasn't so good. It's a bit of a bad time. Do you remember sure. that? I do. Uh, it, was a, it was a bad time for many reasons and my mental health was in the crapper, right? And social media didn't help. 
it was I I don't know what it was, but just kind of notice you do see the negativities of the or the negative stuff going on around you, whether it's in the world, whether it's in other people's lives, and mm. when you're in a bad headspace, I found this is from personal experience, and that's all I can really talk about with confidence. Yeah. But I was just going through the social medias every day and being like, oh god. This is tough. It is it's heavy. And from then onwards, I started actually tailoring my feeds. For example, if there was really problematic people that mm. I knew from somewhere, an acquaintance, and they were yeah. just fucking being dicks. And sharing shit that, like, you're like, what the fuck? Or sharing you know? shit that upset or annoyed me. Yeah. I unfollowed that them. That you really, really or, don't hold the same Or I off. muted them. And it's this whole thing about tailoring your feed. And that's that's advice I actually give to anyone because some people, you know, you make the exact point. That's why you left Twitter, right? Yeah. You, won- you weren't happy with what you're seeing. Yeah. But then I kind of disagree. I'm like, no, it, unless it, you just dislike the platform and you're yeah. not getting anything out of it, which is why you I, really I think left. that's, a, yeah, I don't think it's for the same reason because like that but yeah I, at the I same could time, tailor my feed you say you don't see anything fun it's like whereas I follow different people than you would yeah. and I have a lot of crack there's a lot Do of know, messing yeah. and a lot of fun on my Twitter feed along with the serious and along with the sad yeah there, that, it's a big cacophony Twitter's a mess it, it is though <laughs> it is. Thing, it's such a, no, in fairness do you know what boy? I think it's literally a case of um I think it's that simple that I was just like no it's just another app I'm scrolling through right, you went, I, you I went very cold turkey yeah I just went fuck it go on yeah, but it, you see, yeah, as well. Like, do you know what? Do you know what I really hate about like Twitter and this? It's too hard to ignore. Is it's great for news and stuff like that, but it's like mm. th- this stuff I hate is seeing stuff from like Donald Trump, who I've like blocked, so I don't get have to no, see but him. Uh, so do I. But people saying Trump said this, so like <laughs> any, true, and true, it, no because escaping. everyone is getting on that, like, and it's like, oh my god, I'm so sick of hearing about Trump and the stuff he did, and I'll still fucking find that on yeah. Facebook, probably. Or the news, or the radio, but he is the he, president of the United States. So. I know, but it's just like, at least I have one less, because Twitter is a very much more uh, opinionated platform, it's, whereas Facebook is like, I, you have your friends and stuff. Who I, like, all I do on Facebook now at this stage is, like, just go on the meme pages. And it that's grand, pages. like, and I, I don't mind seeing memes about Trump, And even at that, like, I still tailored my feed on Facebook, because I was in, like, a yeah. Star Wars... Um, and it was very toxic. I and it was so was fucking racist it was and misogynistic so, so and bad. horrible. It was, it was all, remember, actually... horrible I, fan I base. I forgot about that, yeah, really. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah... Again, it comes down to tailoring your feet. I think that's the thing I'll probably reiterate a lot in the podcast. Yeah. Um, yeah. We went to the big tangent there. That's why I quit. Fuck it. It's just one less to see. Maybe I quit for bullshit reasons, but look, I'm happy now that there's something less for me to be checking on my phone. You Interesting. Know? Fuck it. And if I ever want to go back, I'll just fucking go back. I start fresh. Yeah. And then true. and then I can really uh, know about who I... What, you like, can really... Because you I would have set Twitter up then. in like 2009, 2010. That's the thing, yeah. It's so hard to just go through everyone you follow. Like, it's... Yeah, exactly. You know, just do it in one go. Um, yeah, like... So, did you do much research on, on stuff? Because we've talked about yeah, a lot I did, of personal I did. stuff. I did a load of research. Yeah, what is it? What are you saying? I don't, I don't, fuck, yeah. I don't research for this podcast. I don't fucking trust you. Yeah. Yeah, I know where you live. Yeah. Not here. Yeah. Not here. No. I know where you actually live. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's got me. Yeah. So what did you research, Dr. Research? Mm, I, I watched I'm it. Steve. I love research. That's <laughs> that's what you sound like. That's what I can hear right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am... Um, for the people who are listening to this podcast and not viewing... Sorry about I just, that. I just, <laughs> <laughs> he stuck his fist in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Um, yeah, I um, I actually did a little bit of... Um, just, to, just to get some... Uh, like... Out with it, man. Opinions. Shut up, I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, opinions outside of my um, my own personal stuff. We'll get back to that. Sure. And we'll have a bit of fun later, lads, because this is heavy, I know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I, I watched this TED Talk by this woman named... Um, fuck, I didn't write down her name. I feel bad for not... <laughs> I for this for not named fuck. I was like, her. interesting name. I'd, I'm going to plagiarise everything she said. Dude. Really, really good talk on social media and just... It's it's going to be a lot of what we said. So she she um. Got it's like it. saying I saw a really good movie last night. What's it called? <laughs> I'd not. <laughs> so she was talking about the four stressors of social media, which if going checked can become mental health issues. We're all going to relate to this. Ooh, go on. So you've got your highlight reel. Okay, so that's your collection of your best and brightest moments. You know your personal highlight reel. Yeah. Um. But then you know obviously we're insecure because. We compare our behind the scenes, yeah, with other people's highlights. You know, yeah. I know this is really basic shit, but no, it's no, actually no, it's when, when you read it, you go, "Oh yeah, it's stuff you know, but you don't think about on a conscious level." L- often, let's quickly on that point, yeah, uh, jump to each social media and like just okay. talk. I, 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 I agree. 
Instagram is the fucking highlight reel. P- all people post on Instagram is them living their best lives. Genuinely, it's yeah. where you went on the weekend. That used to be Facebook too, though. It's just the way... Yeah, it's now Instagram is the highlight reel. Yeah, it is, actually. And it's, uh, the thing is, though, the, the downside to that is it's... People might call it quite disingenuous, a bit fake. Oh, all yeah. your, It's not a real life... Or, there's two versions of you. There's you, the you real the, you and the best version of you. And you're only showing the best you. So then you're, yeah. you're feeling scared because you're like, oh, this isn't happening with me. Why is why are they on holidays and all that it's like yeah you're not taking into account that that's a they're probably up to their neck in it in college most of the year like the rest of us stressed yeah yeah exactly and it's interesting but so you have to really be in check at with the it, same but. time I do it's something I do like about it as well yeah uh, it's nice to see people doing nice things it is it's nice smiling. it's nice to see a nice photo of someone so who's like we can smiling really, and just to like yeah. it and there's something nice about it, yeah. We can be really cynical and just give out about oh yeah. it's it is so fake. Not saying it's not, but at the same time, look it is nice to see nice things and people getting a new puppy, getting a new job, sure. climbing a mountain. Yeah. Um, Twitter then. What's tw- Twitter's just... Twitter, <laughs> Twitter is... Twitter's a mess. Twitter's... Oh. <laughs> no, twi- Twitter is quite the opposite, nearly. Of Twitter is... Yeah, it's, it's nearly the darkest part of you or something. Yeah, yeah. In it's ways. interesting. So if you're posting your, your great day or your sketch comedy on Instagram, right? On Twitter, that's where you go to give out. You give out I about feel like the coronavirus. Yeah. You give out about the personal shit you have going on in your life. I know yeah. because I did it for years. I've been on Twitter for like 11 years. Maybe that's... A, not, yeah, maybe that's why I left it. Twitter is more out. negative while... Yeah. I'm not saying, though, that it's just... But it can that. be very funny, too. Like, that's it's like thing. the humor in negative. I in, used to... I, see, I was on Twitter when I was 17 technically like, yeah I remember yeah. But, um, but anyway let's move on Facebook what's Facebook <sighs> that's dead boy Facebook's Facebook just... is okay no Facebook is like me right sitting across from you irrelevant <laughs> sorry go on I'm joking thanks <laughs> thanks Steve <laughs> thanks for it's getting joke my one, you my, fucking my biggest said earlier. insecurity anyway. You're, you say it I'm irrelevant it's a joke it's I'm a allowed to make joke. it anyway I'm okay. messing I'm messing you know I'm messing too go on I'm keeping where, this in I know where you fucking live we're keeping though. this in go on I know um, no, Twitter's, fa- fuck, Facebook, what? <laughs> what? Facebook is me sitting across from you, Okay. but I'm six months dead, it's like, oh, it's, it's just the husk of Dara, <laughs> Dara's rotting corpse, Okay. I, I, oh, I remember I used to have great time with him, Okay. but he's dead, yeah, I still have fun with his body, you know, I, I, I still go stuff. on his body every day, I, and I, I, I still, play, make puppet out of him, and, yeah, yeah, I still pick up his arms and pretend he talks <laughs> and stuff, that's what Facebook is now, I'm just on it for fucking memes, I don't even know why I'm, yeah. and groups, yeah. and messing and fun, which is grand, but, but it's dead, the highlight reel for Facebook is gone, you're right, you're just on it for the crack now, and I'm the same, I, I, I don't post status as much anymore, Facebook is the like, time, but like, no, you know, I don't, I might, I don't even share stuff on Facebook much anymore. Facebook is basically that. It's playing with a corpse. Yeah, because the way the algorithm has changed, you see, it's very, it's hard to engage with even like your friends and stuff unless you're constantly yeah. posting and who does. And as, so, as a content creator, then you see. That's the other thing, yeah. Maybe, maybe this is a point I make now or later in the podcast. Uh, sure. If you want to continue on your point, Steve. So no, look look how courteous we are. See, I'll, I'll go you back. see a lot of shouting at each other, but we really do respect each I'll, other. I'll go back to that again if you want to finish what you were saying. But we're, yeah. about the hi- we'll move on from the highlight reel. It's the more about, just about, a, about a content, uh, from a content creator's point of view, you see, is it's funny. You're kind of chasing the, the now, the it, yes. social media. At the moment, it's quite Instagram. So yeah. I, I, I've been trying to grow Instagram a lot the last year, but. For con for consuming video, it's TikTok. Yes, I used to call myself a YouTuber years back. Now yeah. I just call myself a fucking you scumbag. I mean, content creator. <laughs> he um, is a scumbag. Like, nah, um, he is a scumbag. Yeah, you no, are. I am. No, but now it's just content creator. I release them on all social media, but mainly TikTok and stuff. But Facebook has changed so much because three years ago, we the lads too came we out were, and we were bombing on Facebook. We were blowing up, and literally it was a fucking shit timing. Bl- blown up in compar- within, like the start of blowing up within six months. Though, and, then, and then yeah. Within six months of us starting to blow up on Facebook, they changed up the algorithm and everyone mm. kind of started to leave. It stopped becoming what it was. I bet you if we made the same content two years prior, mm. 2016, 2015, 15. we'd be fucking millionaires. By <laughs> I actually, no, I like, I'm not fucking tooting our horns mad, but I do think we missed the, I don't think it's a case of our content is very bad well it is no, yeah I know it's fucking but crap so, so is everyone who's doing well like you're all shit yeah, as well everyone's you know, bad all crap no but <sighs> I, I, I just but that's that's true like I, I do I do genuinely think yeah we missed the boat a bit on that but look it's grand we'll have our day um, <laughs> yes but moving on from the highlight reel um, mm. when your highlights do well you encounter what do you encounter Dara 
What do you what 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 do you what do you get when dopamine. your highlights are doing well? Yummy dopamine validation. What social currency? Which is your likes and all that. Your um your social currency is your likes, your comments, mm. and your shares. And we do you know what's funny? We literally we actually attribute value to this. We literally. do, and. Like, what I, we're, I, we're literally the product and we're letting others attribute value to us by giving us these likes. It's really mad. But, and, and then, of course, yeah, we're tying up our like self-worth yeah. um, with this. And, you know, cool. I, I was just trying to butt in with the whole kind of dopamine uh, thing whenever we get likes and stuff. But I think we'll... Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, You want to cover that? Yeah, uh, yeah. No, on. I'll, I'll let you go. Truck on, on, brother. Yeah, so that that's the thing about um, the social currency is mad. Um, yeah, we literally, we attribute value to it and like, we'll take, but, but like, do you notice if you're taking a selfie, like you're literally, you'll take it so many times till it's right. It's, it's kind of weird. Nah. Okay, One and not. done. That's it. See, that's, and that's, you see, that's, the thing, the, that's, that's what the thing you should is I'm be. perfect. Oh, you see, I just have it. to take one photo and that's the one. With a face like that, you know. Uh, the third thing of course is the, is FOMO. Fear of missing out. Fear of missing on. <laughs> <laughs> Fear of missing on. It's genuine social anxiety, yeah, that you're missing out on an opportunity. You, that That's why I will not get do, rid of social media. Do you... Okay, genuine question. Steve, look at me. Sorry, I'm just... Joking. Look look at me. Go on. All right. Do you genuinely get FOMO when you're going through social media? Not when I'm going through it, but I would... Like... So, no. It's, it's a big reason why I won't... Um, Delete it? Yeah. Interesting, yeah. And apparently and there be. have been polls on that that's like, it's usually like 70 to 80% of people say, yeah, I would delete it if I wasn't going to be out of the loop with friend groups. Literally, and that's but so that's true. Like, how that's our, how you keep contact that's how, with people. That's how we do. Like, you know, it's not like we can, you just delete. There's not, there's no alternative. No. That's how we keep in touch. So yeah, you man. would literally not, you would cut yourself off from your friends. But look, if you're someone that doesn't have social media and you have a thriving friend life, please tell us how. Um, yes. I used to, yeah. I used to get FOMO so badly back. I think it was like when I was a younger adult, when I early in college, I didn't have a car, lived at home. I was, I f- and you know, I didn't live near friends or in the city or anything like that. So like when I'd see nights out and people don't seem to post nights out so much on there's the internet not much, anymore. There's not much happening to see there. Well, I'm t- pre COVID by, right. um, but no, genuinely like, um, I would see, I would just see stuff, people going on their hikes, doing stuff, having fun. And it'd be a case of, oh, well, why am I doing that? Or I, yeah, wish I, yeah. I wish I was there with them. Yeah, I guess I'd, I'd, I'd get that I too. used to get it so bad. Yeah. And well, now that I have better mental health and just more, more. meaning in my... And I'm busy. I'm I'm getting up to stuff. I'm not in fear of missing out stu- on stuff. So I'm literally doing stuff. And sure. I'm, I, I, I'm, I've I'm made more of a conscious decision to meet friends more than when I was younger. Yeah, so take exactly. Not, take nothing for granted, huh? That's it. And the... Uh, Fourth thing is obviously the the, still on this list. the elephant in the room is um, online harassment, of course. Yeah, which is um, there's so many micro fucking moments that like that you bit that just almost go unnoticed, like and you know like the the literally just a shitty comment here and there, a problematic comment or or a nasty comment and stuff. Yeah, I suppose that's all part. Especially of it. with maybe younger people like kids, like you see a lot with strangers fighting with each other. Yeah, the and that, com- that's the whole what you comment t- section, comment section thing, like you know, which is obviously, yeah, uh, and we we talk about that a lot too. It's like, can I jump in just for a very quick point? Yeah, right, yeah. is going back to what I was saying there a little while back in the podcast, lads. I was talking about tailoring your feed. One thing I started doing as well from that point, it's been about three years, let's say, I don't read comment sections anymore. No. I don't go into any comment section. Yeah, you I genuinely don't because I was doing it and I, I know friends who literally do this. Yeah. You go into a, t- a comment section and you're kind of... Fight with a stranger you're nearly say looking, horrible you're things nearly, it, it starts to wind you up and upset you yeah. and then you're looking for a fight. I used to and do it too. you're sitting there on your phone angry. I used to do it too. I used to go into these comment sections like three, three years ago and fight with racists <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. I have done that in the past. And, I you have know, as because well, I, yeah, what yeah. What the fuck are you... You know, uh, like, how the fuck What's can the you f- think that way? And it's just like, you're literally... You're and you're not sitting gonna... there in your sitting room, angry at your literally phone. Literally fuming. Like... Fuming. And if someone came into the room, oh. it's like, what this guy? what's this guy angry at? Exactly. But there's that. But then there's also the the, the really, really unfortunate, the literal, uh, like, targeting, bullying. Like, obviously, yeah. Yeah. like, minorities get it so bad. Like, literally, like, um, horrible, racist, homophobic, transphobic slurs that's, at them. And, and that's yeah. so, like, like that happening over time. It's so, it's it's awful. So, like, yeah, you really have to watch social media and uh, call other people And that's the funny that, thing is, 
as well as that, like avoiding comment sections is a privilege at the same time. That's it, I'm, see. I'm very, I, I want to just acknowledge that in which I'm so privileged that like, I don't have to get upset or offended by yeah. things mentioned in, in comment sections. Yes. Um, because 99% of the time, it's not going to affect me. That's actually true. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, you're right. You know, if I was not straight, if I was a person of color. Yeah. Or any other, let's say, uh, um, minority, let's say. Yeah, then, yeah, sure. Then there's people banging on about my existence and my life. Yeah, so it's very hard to just, just, to just say, oh, I'll just walk away from the comments. It's like, no, yeah. that's that's horrible for so, you. Yeah, so that is, you're right, that is that is privilege on our part there. Yeah, obviously, it's something we can't delve too far into because no, we're, yeah. we're two straight white men. Yeah, so. we're not. We're um, not. Look... We're, we're, yeah, we, all we can do is just acknowledge it, that it is much, much harder for other people. Yeah, it uh, is. With the, to- with the harassment and toxicity online, we're very lucky. We, we want to just kind of acknowledge that. And yeah. look, if you're the same as us, you have it lucky as well. Yeah, in fairness, that, literally, yeah. You don't get the shit hurled yeah. at you just for being who you are and existing. Exactly. And if you do <laughs> hurl abuse at people because then they're different to you in that way. off! There's the door! Delete your phone. There's the door. Put your phone out the door. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be shitty to people. No, Thanks. yeah, well and done, that's, that's the thing. Obviously, minority, as we just talked about, minorities get a lot, way worse. And I guess a lot of people are potentially get bullied on it and stuff. So basically, overall, yeah, it's just it's things you have to watch. Um, but yeah, like that, you mentioned addiction. Every like is literally dopamine, a dopamine yeah. hit. One thing, the way apps are designed nowadays has gamification in mind and I think I spoke about this a lot in our dating podcast okay look it is it, what it is it's basically okay. making everything a game oh yeah literally uh, apps are designed in a way to keep you on it as long as possible yeah literally there are scientists or indeed departments that have that that exist to create an application that is attractive and keeps you on it for as long as possible because then that's how you view ads and that's how they make their money at the end of the day. So, but the thing is as well for us, how it relates to us is we're constantly scrolling for validation, Hmm. right? And I can kind of delve into this a bit further as a content creator, but for just every Tom, Dick and Harry, right, who's just scrolling, we're, we're scrolling to find that little dopamine hit, find that post or that thing that makes us feel good. Mm. Because we know we had it before, and we know we'll find it again. Well, <laughs> so like, we scroll endlessly. And you post for that reason. like and Exactly. Do you get anxious if you put up a post, and if you, right, you know the way you're getting likes coming in, if you put up a <laughs> post, they're starting to fly in, yeah, and you're, you're mm-hmm. getting that dope, you're getting that social currency, you're getting yeah. those dopamine hits, and you're feeling brilliant. Do you get like, um, would you get anxious if you weren't, if you were told, right, you have to put up the post, and you're not allowed to check the likes? Would that make you feel a bit, oh, I want to really see? It would for me anyway. For me, it's a bit different. You okay. see, Wait, I don't want to con- say... You're a content creator. How do you know? He's a fucking content creator. Dude, do you ever Am watch I a, my videos? Does this make me a content creator being on this thing? This thing. <laughs> oh, it's a tough one. You're a host. <laughs> yeah. But you don't edit it. No, you see. No. You're a host and an actor. Actor. Ooh. See, look, yeah, you're an actor. All actor. right, a content creator and an actor. Just... But... Yeah. <sighs> I come in at, at, a, at a bit of a different angle. I don't want to say three means a business because it's not because I make no fucking money out of it and I'm not registered as a business anywhere. So, no, I, I, I'm i an artist, okay? And I think, look, artists are always trying, we're always trying to grow. Hmm. And the thing is though, likes and shares and comments are indicating if you are growing, if you are doing well. So if yeah. you told me, Dar, you can't see your likes and shares and comments anymore, I'll go, well then how do I know if a sketch is any good? So it's not necessarily attached to your self-worth personally. It's more it's attached more attached to my brand. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. So okay, that's interesting. So because your social media, your Instagram account, you don't have a personal one. Well, it is. Yeah, you don't have I a personal one. You're me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I look I they're like, "What?" He's three me you, after all these but that's years. That's your page. Your, your sketches are uploaded to your only Instagram page. I don't have a personal one and yeah. a three me one. It's just uh, I'm I'm I am three me. I am Iron yeah, Man. The kind of conclusion on it is social media. Are we into the end of the end of the podcast? No, we, there's a lot more to talk. Do you want about. me to get out? Will I just leave? Is yeah, that fuck it? off, man. Oh, podcast is over. I really, fuck off. really wish you would take fuck your off, fucking you know? microphone. <laughs> no, I want it. I want to. <laughs> okay, um, it's funny. We're actually booting on with the podcast, and like I did a lot of research into. Um, Body image and Instagram. 
mm. very specifically. And we could do a separate one on this if we want. That's what I'm going to say. So I'm handing it over to you, the audience. What do you think, guys? Do you want to hear an actual just podcast in itself on body image, Instagram, mm. you know, because... We're talking very generally about it. Oh, and yeah, the whole thing. The thing is, Which though, we always do. Which nearly which, is a bit of a, I won't say a problem, but um, we could go a little bit more specific on Yeah, topics. I guess we could. Few, look, we're, look, we're only nine episodes in. That's true. We are still feeling we're it still out. still young, young fellas. But that's well, the thing. We can get into specific bits Because I did a, later. yeah, that's the thing. I just did a load of research. I really looked into it because it's something I can massively relate to myself. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm really sorry we can't use any of it. <laughs> that's, that's grand. Save it but yeah, for look, another podcast. That's it. No, let us but, know if you'd like us to talk about that. We might not do it next week. We might. Cause yeah, too similar. It'd be too, yeah, too similar and a bit too heavy two, day, two weeks in a row. But let us know. Let us know. Cool. Um, speaking of ye guys, the audience, mm. uh, let's let's read out some of your uh, things you sent in to us. Yeah, so as I said early in the podcast, um, we well, reach out to our audience every week. We ask ye, um, you know, you know, for opinions, for stories. And this week we asked, guys, what do you like and dislike about social media? So you've heard, you know, you've heard Darren Steve fucking ramble on about it for the last while yes. but let's let's bring it to the audience what are people listening to us okay so um thinking about it hypno sucky i'm gonna just use people's instagram names or else their first names so you know yeah um hypno sucky said uh, i love the creativity yes and yeah. openness to talk about things the media wouldn't talk about that's a lovely point that's a brilliant point because I, I find that that like but I also find that, well, this is me just being negative, but I find it's like, yeah, I can't trust the government at all because they won't tell you anything. Whereas maybe 10, 20 years ago, I would have just been like, yeah, I didn't, uh, they said it on the news, so it's grand. Whereas yeah. things get like... New, uh, the news is biased. The news is good exactly. for getting, you know, I guess, but it, the but news. It, but, but, but it is biased, but social media, you'll have people on the inside just posting their yeah, it's, leaks. And, what what I really, yeah, on that point, what I really like about the likes of Twitter is you just have f- journalists and freelance journalists, people, and they're giving you, sure, they'll, you know, First it might be biased but yeah first hand they're saying right in the doll today this is happening all things are or open this I'm way. in this uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. war torn country yeah. here's what I've seen and what is happening yeah. there's no political there's no there's no edit there's no yeah there's no one editing it after so when it gets to the paper it's like oh well let's look, edit this I mean look at Black Lives Matter look at what just happened a couple of months yeah, ago yeah, that was know. all look it eventually got into mainstream media and after a few but weeks they were like okay huge. we have to stop talking about this it's still going on protests are still going on of course in America yeah. um, but social but, media was oh my god great for that in fairness you know really came together so um, there you go and and uh, the other point Hypnosucky made was uh, about um, creativity that's the thing. There's so much fucking art out there. Yeah. And that's something I absolutely adore about it as well. I get to see graphic designers and artists yeah. and models and skateboarders. You know, th- things that I don't get to see all the time, but I, it just shows they, up. They don't be on RT News, you see. Yeah, the well, they do have the skating like, show. Oh, yeah. Every night. Ryan Tubbley skating that? show. The Ryan, Ryan Tubbley Tub- skating show, yeah. Yeah, this week, Ryan Tubble. Tubble. Yeah. Yeah, this week Ryan Tubbardy is going to teach you how to do a kickflip. Yeah. <laughs> so you get on the old skateboard there and you, you you just fucking kick the old fucking thing. Is that what he sounds like? I don't know. He doesn't know anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Ryan said, um, the crack has gone from scrolling through socials because it's all depressing shit. I guess we kind of touched on that. Yeah. yeah but, um, but, you know, look. I suppose. And again, it depends on what you're following. But, um... Maybe, this is a hot take, but maybe social media is becoming a little bit more serious. I think it was purely escapism and memes and cat videos when it start, when it was in its inception. But it's because maybe people were a little... People were scared to give their opinions online in 2010, 2011. Yeah. And it was quite dramatic if someone said something about an issue. Yeah. Now it's a case of, no, it's actually the norm. So mm. maybe it is a case of social media is a little bit more... Not as light That's as it was yeah. years back. Yeah, and, uh, and it's I don't know, probably, I just work here. No, that's a good point. And it's probably simply too, because like, literally, now we have smartphones. Whereas before you went on your social media in the evening on your computer. Now you yeah. have smartphones, you have it everywhere, every day. It's literally just this, the, literally yeah. the other half of your life. It's like everyone, you know. If you're pissed off about something, you're going to take out your phone and yeah, tweet about know. it instantaneously. 100%. Owen said, dislike department. I find myself scrolling for hours and hours afterwards. You're just like... What the fuck did I just waste my time on that? I uh, find myself on the verge of just deleting everything. Yeah, oh, and you're reiterating. I, I, I go through a pretty similar thing with social media. And again, media, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I suppose, look, my advice to own and everyone listening, I guess, is look, before you delete the social media, tailor your feed first. If there's 
genuinely you can on Twitter you can mute phrases yeah I find that really happening when you're coming up to like a video game or a the movie last release of us too, yeah I did as even well. Star Wars and Star and stuff Wars yeah where you know leaks and stuff so that's what I use it for but yeah but moving on Ian said uh, like uh, use the meme page with a blue tick in lieu of a degree to get a job I wonder right what on that, brother I wonder what that meme page was I wonder what that meme page was it was humans of the sesh that's that's Ian from the humans of the sesh right on brother dislike platforms fair for no I'm just fucking make a point on that fair fucking play, yeah, I gotta say fair play to Ian you got a job out of starting up a fucking Facebook meme page yeah. right on it's the life boy, Ian if you want to come on the podcast oh Mm. Lads, um, why don't you actually, lads? Another thing, let us know if you'd like Ian to come on the podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to ask. We'll the get audience. him over. We'll make him a cup of tea. We'll bring him to the back house or here. Yeah. And uh, Ian also said the dislikes are it platforms freaky men who eat canned hot dogs and rant about immigrants. Yes, we. Yeah, we brought that up. Moody bollocks said, <laughs> Moody bollocks. I just read that like without. That's their name. Um, the yeah, only thing I like about man. the only thing I like about <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's her name. Sorry, boy. Sorry. Fuck you. Sorry, Moody Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, wasn't it? It was no, you. I uh, got him. Got him. The only thing I like about social media is how easy uh, it is to follow my interests, streamers, scheduled, etc. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, the in real the in the IRL the in real life side. Yeah, is that right? I, in no, real I, life. I or yeah, I IRL. Right. The in real life side of social media bothers me. I've deleted everything except Instagram only for the memes. Okay. Jack said he likes the exposure to other cultures and how easy it is to connect with people across the world. That's very... I'd bad, say, yeah. yeah, and that's pure... We nearly just... T- we completely take it for granted. Like, oh, yeah. imagine saying that to, like, uh, someone in the 90s or the, the 50s yeah. or in 11 BC. You know? <laughs> 8 BC. <laughs> if you went back to 8 BC and said, right, you know... France like wait what <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you want about what the fuck I live in my village <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I live There's, in Carrigaline yeah like uh, I'm not leaving Car- fuck you yeah I live in Carrigaline but yeah you can literally learn and experience so quickly um, yeah you can fucking experience people from all over the planet's cultures yeah. via, via social media and that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool uh, but Jack's dislikes are the toxic the toxic parts of it it's addictive. People can care more about their online image than their real life. Yeah, that's that's something we didn't actually mention, and that yeah. is, and it's very much in 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 line with what we were talking about. But yeah, that's so true. People are so addicted to it, they don't even know that they literally will care mm. more about that social currency than than literally, you know, living living their actual life in front of them. Yeah, you know? yeah. So you literally have to be aware of it, which we'll we'll talk about. I in a feel second. bad for the likes of you know maybe influencers like big influencers because their their livelihood mm. is them yeah their face their body just them mm. so when they take a selfie sure we might say oh god i have to take five to ten selfies they're like i have to take oh, 300 it has to be I've, right or i'm it, gonna get so much criticism no yeah. not even that oh. they make money out of it yeah but that's I'm, the, I, I'm putting up this post and i'm making a hundred quid off it jeez it fucking better be good it better oh, do well so their real life and their online life yeah. jeez i'd say they're tough enough to differentiate differentiate yeah man i don't know joe said i like how i can listen to the lads podcast every week you should check it out if you haven't thanks joe checks in the mail <laughs> checks in the mail Joe. nice one Billy, oh Billy, on, Billy, Billy said, the lads podcast because they are a pack oh, of geez, cunts. I, I can't fucking afford all these shows. I mean, thanks, Billy. No, no, he said the lads podcast because they're a pack of cunts. We are. But they do a good podcast. Uh, Dave said, you're on it, XO. Who, me or him? Me or Who? Dara? Differentiate. Yeah, come There's on, two like, of us. lads. Lads, how long you had to do? We're, we're doing this nine weeks. Like, you want to oh, <laughs> step it up? Nine weeks, Christ. Nine weeks, boy. That's all the online stuff. Will we get to some conclusion? Yeah, give us a conclusion there, bye. Okay, let's have a conclusion. So look, social media is not good nor bad. Okay, see you, bye. Thanks. So I'll just finish it. On <laughs> look, it's, yeah, no, genuinely though, all jokes aside, you just need to be careful, don't you? You do. You know, here's a few um, preventative strategies for social media. Put down you your phone. Just fucking get rid of it. Put your get phone in the bin. It, except subscribe to 3Me and the Lads podcast on everything. And um, like every post we put out but that's it and then no more friends lads put it on the phone you gotta, you gotta go serious now it's all about us from here out like you know what I mean Steve you're Steve I definitely knew you from somewhere Steve uh, Collins isn't that it he did a joke huh look recognise the problem that's the first step okay if there's a problem yeah with for your sure addictiveness on that point actually 
jumping was, in. I'm diving fuck. in. That wasn't even a point. And I'm and I'm do- fair play, Guan. In, give it to me. In give on me. straight and no kissing. I like it. Um, the man has me has me guess keeps me guessing. on your fucking toes. Well, on like, my toes. That's the one. Go on. I did that about again probably a few years back when I was just kind of reevaluating my life, I guess. But is uh, yeah, again, I was looking at my social media consumption, my phone usage, and I was like, oh, this makes me feel crap. And yeah. I, I, could, I felt the addiction. Yeah. It was always in my hand. Now it still is, but I'm, I'm aware of it and I do my best to work on it. So I came up with some top tips for myself and I tell these to people is when you're with your pals, put the phone down. Yeah. You experience your friends in real life. Yeah, that, it, that's something I was doing for ages too. I'd literally be in the room with, with even just you or two people and or you know three what people. I, and, and I'd be scrolling my phone and then and then in fairness, you you told me you were like, Jeez, your man loves his phone and I thought about it and went, Yeah, what the fuck am I doing? I'm with someone. But I, why yeah, should I, why should I, I think that's a good way to do it. if you if or, or yeah, if you have a partner or a friend who's just always yeah. on the phone, we it's do really have annoying. those like, people. It actually is really but annoying. I started doing to you kind of just these like not passive aggressive yeah comments. but just say you don't Make want to you say you don't want to be like Steve get off your phone yeah because then you're, you just made me go oh, because yeah. you're you're then jumping into the adult sorry but then you're jumping into the parent ego yeah. state and you're telling that you're 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 making them you're making them a child these aren't my own tips I found these online stuff is like when you're going to bed oh. other side of the room so you're not Did scrolling you in bed three me three me page no no oh I thought they were on I found it on patreon.com forward slash the lads podcast oh he did you fucking got another fucking plug in yes yes, yes! I'm fucking rich oh! yes <laughs> what are you looking at I literally was trying not to look at you <laughs> just for simple things as well what I kind of let myself do is let the battery run out mm. and then put oh. it put it away to charge yeah put it in the corner that's actually that's one I do as well put yeah. it in the corner yeah yeah or leave it yeah. somewhere not not sitting on the couch with it plugged in charging no 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 that's cheating yeah see I have a really my charger is about four to six inches long so like I can't it, mm. it plugs in it stays there so get yourself a tiny little lead for your charger <laughs> sure you get the three I swear inch to God, charger, it yeah. works get the, get the one uh, inch one get the duck dude get the fuck you I knew you were gonna do it do what do what? You'll never get the glass hammer you know, and <laughs> smash it over your head. Here that's, at Three Me, we don't advocate violence. No, that that's that's true, yeah. Like as I say, when I was in company I started doing it. But then then I wanted to take a step further, like you just said, and I wanted to do it on my own. So now if I'm watching telly on my own, I mm-hmm. started scrolling, I was like, no, so I put it over in the other end of the room and I charge it. You know what I've been doing? What? I've been watching Dark. Amazing oh, yeah. Netflix series, but yeah. it's in German. Oh yeah. And well, I'm so watching then you it. have to read the subtitles. I'm watching it with subtitles on, so I have to read the subtitles. There you go, you can't be scrolling then. So the phone's away, yeah. it's brilliant. So That's guys, uh, if you get anything out of this podcast, just watch it, German TV with the subtitles on. Because if you're watching something in, in your native language, you 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 actually, your, your brain literally goes to this where you say, oh yeah, sure, I can scroll away, I'm grand. Oh yeah, I can scroll away, I'm grand, sure, I can still hear it. But like, it's like you're literally not listening to it. You don't even know this because you're so, you're addicted. You end up but missing you're scrolling from the show, yeah. And you're not listening to it. You, th- you, you say it to yourself, oh, it's grand, sure, I can listen to it. Like obviously a different case if you're watching a show with subtitles, then you go, oh, I have to concentrate. But you're like, yeah, I can still concentrate. It's like, no, you fucking can't. You literally get to say, because like, this is, when I started noticing this, I'd be on my phone and i go, fuck. And I'd rewind something like five minutes because I wasn't fucking paying any yeah, attention I, to it. Yeah, the exact same. You know? But that's the thing, as we just said, yeah, recognise the problem. And then as we just touched on, audit Put your phone it. in the bin. Put your phone in the bin. Audit your social media. Monitor how often you go on. Mm-hmm. And, like, ask yourself, too, questions like, you know, why do I like that? Like, did that scroll make... How did that scroll I just did? How did, it make, how did it make me feel? How do I feel now? Like, how often... And, you know, how often do I check likes? And the main thing is, if you're if you ask yourself those questions and you're happy with the results... Mm. then you're fine. You don't have a problem. You don't have an addiction. But if you're not happy with the results, right, then you have to create a better online experience. So like you talked about, tailor your feed, unfollow celebrities if they make you feel fucking sad that you don't have their life. <laughs> That's um, me every day. Here's one: you don't have to follow your friends. You can you yeah. can mute your friends. Like people don't, th- you, you may feel like it's rude to like you have to follow the lads podcast. Like that's well, th- just that's, that's part of the contract. And three me, but you don't have and three me, of course, and not like my Steve. not me, not my personal one. No, 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 um, not Steve. No, but you you don't have to follow your friends. Like you can. Not that's very true. Them. It might feel a bit rude, but may, you, well, you can mute them. That the uh, yeah, I I do <laughs> I do do that. Yeah, but like it's like you might you might get on great with someone in the pub, or you might be good for, but you might hate the stuff they be saying online. They might make you feel you very go. bad, like you know. Exactly. So yeah, you can mute your friends. Yeah, I'm sure, have you muted on everything? Else. <laughs> oh no, you just don't follow me. <laughs> he didn't follow me on Instagram for a good year. I'd no, say. no, I wasn't. It was Steve and a I got, got in a tiff over something. Did we? 
I don't like, think it, we did. I wasn't no, aware no, of it, it anyway. It was, no, it wasn't like a tiff tiff. It was just like, a do that. Tiff. It was a mess. I was like, I was like, all right, if you're not going to do that, I'm going to unfollow you on that Instagram. And you were and like, you actually yeah, did. you're just like, you're not. And I did. I unfollowed him for like six months. Oh, sure, man, me. all you put up is porridge anyway. It's grand. <laughs> I was going through a phase of porridge. I see you fucking I I all the, the time stuff. anyway. So it's grand. Um, so any, any last remarks, Dara? Any last words, huh? Any this last words before I kill you? Finally, With the fucking glass hammer and the duck, dude. <laughs> I did it. Got him. I f- I got got. I am. Um, you got no, fucking got. I hope this podcast um wasn't a complete shambly mess. Mm. But I think it, it was does, grand. But it doesn't matter. If, look, if it is or not, it's grand. You're here for the crack. You're here for the company and the fun. And I hope you're getting something out of it because I f- this is a gr- I love doing this. I do too. I, I love you. I- <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week to see if I, <laughs> if I say it back to Dara. Oh, incentive. Thanks. Sorry, lads, my camera just died. Uh, <laughs> we've been Stephen Dara of the Lads Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs>